Uh, Jumbo Africa. It is annoying and it makes us uh, unsettled each time when we hear on the news that another African boy has been shot by a policeman in, in America. We remember the incident at Tops where people were shot, where African people were shot. And we are thinking to ourselves, why must you keep quiet when uh, such treachery happens to our children? Why are we quiet? Are we such cowards that we can't raise a finger when we hear that uh, Ahmad Arbery has been shot, when we hear that Trayvon Martin has been shot, when we hear that uh, Sandra Bland has been shot, people like Mike Brown have been killed, unarmed. Amado Diallo was also shot. So we, as Africans, we are in... Uh, we, are, we are under pressure that at least we should stand up and do something. Um, people like uh, Kajo Kazula from Alabama uh, at, uh, at the African, uh, was it Afri uh, African town, Africa town in Alabama. Those are the people who started the struggle against oppression, against slavery, against maintaining your Africanness. It's being an American is not going to make you better than anybody. Instead, it, it exposes you to unnecessary bullets. You, you can be proud of being an American, but uh, these white American boys are killing black Americans. Why is that? that I have a problem with that. It's just that we do not want to have our own dignity, to maintain our own dignity. And the only dignity that we, we, we can claim is to make sure that we claim our legacy, we claim our inheritance, which is land in Africa, because you were taken from somewhere in Africa. The DNA, your DNA is still here in Africa. And so you don't have to ask yourself as to where would you go if you are, if you are told to go back to Africa, where would you go? Anywhere in Africa, any land, as long as you are a black man, any land in Africa belongs to you. Nobody's going to stop you. We will never ask you for a visa. If anybody asks you a visa, you must ask them, who gave my ancestors a visa to go to America? Americans, black Americans, do not need a visa to come to Africa. And this land that we are sitting on belongs to you because this is communal land. We are all subjects to kings, African kings and, and chiefs. So if you come back any day, and I am saying, come back, let us till the land, let us produce food, so that these people are coming to Africa to steal the land. Because what happened was, our people were taken to Americas, they were taken to Europe as slaves, and when they had been taken away. And then Europeans came and took their land. They are using it. If you drive from uh, KwaZulu-Natal, that is now from Deben to Johannesburg, or up to Messina, or, you will find that along the N3 freeway and along the N2 freeway from Deben to Pretoria or to Swaziland, both sides of the road, there are farms. All those farms belong, belong to whites. If the same thing when you drive from Deben and the entry going towards uh, Petersburg, it's the same thing. There are uh, uh, farms on both sides of the road, and those farms belong to whites. Not even one black person owns a farm. And you wonder, what happened to the blacks who were in, in those farms before whites came? And those people are the one that we are asking to say, claim your inheritance. That land which is now being used by whites is actually your inheritance. And if you don't stand up and talk about it, nobody will do. I have spoken to the kings and chiefs in Africa. Everybody is accommodating. They are saying it's time 
that uh, if you say George Floyd was killed because he used a fake $20 to go and buy uh, 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 to go toys for, for his kids, why should he be doing that? How many George Floyds are going to do that? Where George Floyd is the richest man in the world because he's got land in Africa that he can come back at any time and use it to feed the whole world. I, I am saying to people like Oprah, people like um, Jay-Z and Beyonce, give us implements. Let us till the land so that no African anywhere in the world is starving. Use that. We can organize a concert any day. We can organize a concert any day and make sure that uh, nobody starves. Nobody should be starving in Africa and, and, and anywhere. So I am asking all the Africans who are, who are able to make money. It is very wrong for our people to be killed like flies in America in, with the, um, this stupid saying that says, hey, Africa is great, let's make Africa great again. You know, people like Donald Trump will say, they want to make Africa great. How do you make Africa great? I mean, America great again. You make America great by making sure that black people are subjugated. And people like Jordan Davis were killed in America, and we don't know why were they killed. Some people were killed by cops, and black judges, black judges could not take them to jail because the system doesn't allow. Well, we are saying. Well, they, well, they are busy uh, saving uh, these white policemen boys who are killing people like David Felix. We are saying uh, people like Jay Z, people like um, Prince Harry, the son of the current king in, in in England, should be coming to Africa and do exactly what his mother was doing. Now we are asking him, we are asking you, Prince Harry, please come to Africa. Help Africa to till the land so that no, no African starves wherever he, he or she may be. Uh, we are grieving for people like Philando Castile who was also killed by a, a white bullet just because he was black. We are, we are grieving for everybody who was killed in America. We are saying to people like Melissa Nobles that, Melissa Nobles, you are a heroine in Africa. We respect you and we congratulate you for the position that you've taken to be the Chancellor of the University. Please use that to change our situation. I want all the professors who have been to Africa to contact me. You can always find me at the University of Zululand. If you come to the University of Zululand and ask for Advocate Soboni, that's who I am, you will find me, every, every professor, every academic that has been to Africa. Please do not leave Africa without having seen me because we are in a project with the prince, uh, with the King Zulichini's uh, son and all the princes from, uh, from the Zulu monarchy that uh, we must provide land for Africans to till their land to produce food so that no African starves wherever he may be. Where today we know food is expensive, we can make food cheaper, way cheaper than it is now. All we need to do is for all those Africans who can afford to provide implements, can provide, provide fencing of land so that we produce food, we can provide equipment for irrigation to join us we are ready we've got all the uh, the expertise we've got university students who have studied agriculture who will help us with the modern methods of producing organic food in america in, in africa so that you will have our uh, all the warehouses in, in America, where we'll be keeping our organic food so that we can distribute all over the world. We want those who thought being white 
uh, meant that they would go around and take people to anyway. We want them to regret by saying, we will use that negativity as a positive so that we use the very same people who were forcefully taken from Africa, we use them as food ambassadors in the diaspora, including America.